All right, guys, I am super excited for this anime review. Honestly, I was going to do this one first, but I kind of wanted to do a couple, like, laser ones, you know, build up. But this one's my favorite, and it has been my favorite since 2018, which I think was when it first came out, but don't quote me. Anyways, this series has grown to such a huge degree that I would be surprised if nobody really knows this. Because, like I said, it's it's spread. It's popular among a lot of people from, like, different factions and whatnot. And I'm going to talk about why. I'm going to try to avoid spoilers despite the fact that it is, again, another older series. Because I want everybody to watch it and experience it in all of its entirety. Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation, otherwise known as MDZS. And I'm not going to attempt the Chinese name because... I don't want to butcher it, but it is based on a Chinese BL novel, and <laughs> you guys need to read it. Honestly, I suggest you read it before you even watch the show, if you can. If not, watch the shows first. It's cool. But make sure you eventually read the novel, because all the BL stuff is actually mostly just in there. So you're missing out a lot of uh, romance. The actual cartoon that most people know it from has two seasons and a third season is supposed to come out sometime probably in the third quarter of 2021 but you can also watch its side series spinoff the spinoff mdzsq is very short every episode is like about a minute and a half if that and there's gonna be about 30 episodes i was told and it's airing right now actually and it's so cute. It's just them as chibis. And it takes what is originally a very serious drama and focuses more on the comedy aspect of it. And it's just so adorable. You could actually watch both this version and the first two seasons of the original version on WeTV English app or on their official WeTV English YouTube channel. Honestly, you should really support the series and watch like them on these sources and this is not the only way to experience this fandom guys it's not there's also an audio drama that follows the book closely and has a lot of the pa -pa -pa scenes and if you don't know what pa -pa -pa is i don't know if i should tell you what it is but it's in japanese and in chinese there's also a live action series with like 50 episodes you can watch on netflix and on wee tv and that's english subbed as well and there's the manhwa, the manga, which, again, closely follows the novel and has a lot more of the BL scenes that you can experience. The first season of the original series actually has a Japanese dub coming out at the beginning of January, I believe. It's either the beginning or the end, somewhere around there. But in January, it is coming out, and you can experience it a whole new way with... Uh, Japanese voice actors and names and stuff. And I'm very excited to see that version as well. Gosh. I know you're probably thinking, Hillary, what is this show about? You're just telling me stuff it's on. Can you explain? I'm confused. Tell me. MDZS is a very convoluted plot in a way that would be hard to explain. But I will give you some gist of it basically and then have you watch it and decide for yourself it tells the story of Wei Ying or Wei Wuxian who has been dead for 13 years through a horrific incident where he basically was deemed a villain because of the choices he made and the world had turned back on him including his family and friends and blah 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 so he died and he comes back it, to life in this other guy's body who summons his ghost. He can't have anybody knowing who he really is. So he has to pretend to be this other guy that he's now possessing. The guy, when he was still alive, was considered like a cut sleeve and a village idiot crazy person. So he's like pretending to be that type of person when it's hilarious. Weeing eventually ends up actually reuniting with the undead zombie of his friend Wen Ning, who he had brought back to life after his death through the power of demonic cultivation. And before he was dead, when he was still alive, 
all those years ago. He was just the most adorable, innocent little coward. And you just really feel for him. And he's just the best zombie ever. He's just doing his best. Okay. He also runs into his old, I guess, sort of brother, Jiang Qing, who just really wants to kill him when he finds out he's alive again. He has, in fact, spent the last 13 years of his death just coming across anybody who performs demonic cultivation or anybody that could be him and killing them without much thought because he hates them that much due to the stuff that happened previously when his past life. The first person to recognize who Wei Ying really is, though, is Lang Wanji, who recognizes him based on the song that he plays on his flute to try to control Wen Ning when he found him again. Lan Wan Ji has a very obvious crush on Wei Ying, and for pretty much his whole teenagehood, up until probably towards the end of the novel, Wei Ying is not aware of this because Wei Ying is dumb. The story goes back and forth between 13 years in the past to figuring out how he became the villain and how he died and the mysteries of that, as well as the present of trying to find all the body parts to this zombie and figure out who the victim is and who murdered them, as well as who is responsible for bringing Wei Ying back to life. Because of the ghouls and the monsters and the zombies and stuff, it totally works for Halloween, in my opinion. Plus, with all the different versions of this series, there's no way you're not going to find a version that you like and can get into. Also, if you do like this series, I would suggest looking into her other works, Heaven's Official Blessings, which is a very long novel. But the anime is coming out sometime soon, I believe. The last series is called Scumbag System or Scum's Villain Self-Surfing System. And this one's my favorite. It, he dies, and he ends up um, coming back to life as the villain in the novel he died reading. And he has to figure out how to survive and not be killed by the hero. And it's just really, really good. Scumbag System you can also watch on Wii TV, English app, and YouTube for free. English subbed. Please support them. Please watch them. Check them out for sure. And, uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you later.